Yep, you saw the title. I'm going to transform my e-commerce agency into a software. And in this new series, I'm going to take you on my journey, how I'm going to build this new software without any experience and from zero. I will show you everything from behind the scenes, the challenges that we're facing, the decisions that we need to make, the wins, the lessons, the losses, everything. But before I'm going to show you exactly what this new software is, I'm going to destroy the gym. Bye. Your life, bro. Resting, my bro. Resting, resting. There was a warm up, bro. Warm up. There was a warming up. Easy warm up. I'm going to, uh, again at one. Yes, yeah, three hours next training. I just came back from the gym and it is almost 2025. So that means that later today I have a meeting with everyone uh, of the company where I'm going to present them the results that we did in 2024. But what I want to show you right now is one of the strategies that we did for one of our clients in Q4 when it comes down to campaigns. Because what is really important is that so many brands are going to send out emails that you want to stand out when it comes down to presenting your offers. So we built a strategy. I'm going to show you that in a minute and this one absolutely crushed it. So now we're in their Klaviyo account and what we basically did in the beginning of November is building up a VIP list. So later we sent out a couple of reminders, some gift guides, campaigns as you can see in here. Uh, we also get a couple of sales of that but it was mainly to build up the list. So what we did then is that we're going to release offer number one. What we did is that over the whole month of November we were releasing different offers because if you're only going to have one offer after a couple of emails people uh, know it already and they're not gonna buy from you again so we created different offers and we were releasing offer number one so there was a 35% off uh, they had also a small German uh, list but the main uh, people were uh, Dutch so we were releasing that and as you can see for the VIP we did 6,000 euros in revenue 38% click rate and 60% open rate and for the German one we did 1.5 is what's like a smaller list but still pretty solid results and later on we were sending it out to everyone so there was this a 35% off to the whole list and still it was getting in some revenue but most of the revenue was coming from the VIP list. What we did later is that we were sending out reminders and they absolutely crushed it so that's why you always want to send out reminders in different times in different days that way uh, people that miss the first email they still got a reminder. So then we did like a reminder of hey sign up if you missed the early access and then we were releasing offer number two and that was a BOGO offer and uh, we did it first for the VIPs and as you can see it crushed again like 11,000 euros in revenue 30% click rate and 60% open rate and this was one week after we're releasing offer number one so that is to show you the importance of having multiple offers in a month like this that you can present to your email list so yeah, that's one of the strategies that we did for one of our clients make sure to take some notes out of it some inspiration please be aware that every brand is different so is the strategy okay so keep that in mind so before I'm going to tell you what this new software is what I'm building I'm quickly going to have a shower then I have a meeting with my COO to call it in a corporate way and then I will explain everything to you I can see clearly now the rain is gone. so why building a software since I was 16 years old I was already in the e-commerce landscape I start selling on my own stores and scaled them past millions of dollars in revenue and for the past two years my team and I we partnering up with worldwide e-commerce brands and we help scale their revenue but more importantly their profits by leveraging email and SMS marketing and this year I had a lot of growth for my agency in the beginning of my agency I start posting consistent content about e-commerce for two years on my Twitter and on my YouTube because I'm really against cold outreach and I believe give first before you ask but that started to compound for the last eight months meaning a lot of new brands find me and decided to work with me and that resulted in that for the last eight months most of the time I have a client waitlist Back in the summer of 2024, I was onboarding a lot of new brands, thinking that my internal systems were in place to handle it. Especially at the time, I had 13 in-house team players. But then, in July and August, four brands decided to stop our partnership. Looking at our systems and how we handled the work back then, I realized that we weren't ready to scale while maintaining and improving the quality of our service. I went to Bangkok, Thailand for one month to focus on our new workflow, where we're not only maintaining the quality, but also 
also improving the service for our clients. And to give you a little bit more context about what we exactly doing and my problems back then, it starts with who are our clients, right? And basically our clients are e-commerce brands that are looking for more revenue and profits, right? All of the benefits that you probably already know that comes with email and SMS marketing. So why do people and our clients work with me? It's basically the lack of knowledge, the lack of time to do it or the trust in other parties, right? Especially because I'm posting only content on my socials, right? Free content. I don't do any cold outreach and I back it up with a lot of case studies. Our offer is that we add an extra 30 to 35 plus in monthly recurring revenue by our ProfitWave acquisition framework. What comes down that we do email and SMS marketing. Go to my website if you want to find out more, um, but that is to give you a bit more context. And with our framework, we have two offers. We got a one-time setup that's basically for every brand in every stage, and we got a monthly recurring partnership. And that is for brands that are doing at least 100K plus per month in revenue. So how does the backend system look like? It's basically me, my compagnon, an email marketing strategist, a designer, and a copywriter. And we got around eight to 10 emails approved per day per team, okay? And per team, I got multiple teams. We are managing around four to eight brands, okay? That means that if I wanted to scale, I needed more people and a better backend system. Actually, to give you a quick overview, how that would look like is that we have a strategy, right? That's specific per brand. And we also wanted to add new strategies. Then we got the copy. That's very important to get the copy, uh, the tone of voice of the copy aligned with the brand. It took a lot of time because everything needs to be researched by the copywriter. And then we got also different languages, right? So if we have a proofreader or translator, it is basically an extra step in the process. Then we get also the design by finding the content that takes time. The copy needs to match with the design, right? The goal of the email and also needs to be aligned with the brand. Okay, so this was basically the process and it took a lot of time. And if I wanted to scale this, I need to hire more people and better backend systems. So I was like, okay, this is not really the most efficient way to scale. And then AI comes in place. I realized what if we have our own email marketing AI that we can use for the team and for the clients, where we can have for the strategy in-depth custom strategies, so based per brand, per niche, per country, and that we can also implement faster new strategies, and where we can written copy in seconds that is perfectly aligned with the brand's tone of voice, that's also conversion optimized, right, and also with the correct speaking language, because a big struggle right now is that if you translate something with JetGPT or write copy, it still sounds really robot. And then also for the designers, it will be way more efficient because the copy is matching perfectly with the design and also we can have more customized uh, designs per brand as the whole process before will be way efficient. And when I was experimenting with AI to get to this point, I realized that instead of eight to 10 emails per day, I could create an email under 10 minutes. What is the reason that I'm going to take you on my journey? I want to show you the raw reality and be full transparent of building a business while being 22 years old that has also a personal life. I know there will be a lot of challenges because I never built any software before or did this building in public thing. I will be wasting a lot of money on things that I thought that was be a good decision, but it turns out to be not. And I want to show you what decisions we've made and also how I get over those losses. And maybe I will inspire one of you with my lessons and challenges to start building something great because i believe in the world today we need more people like elon musk that has a crazy idea and that turn them into reality that really believe into the solution that they are building and start doing it and maybe you have a really good idea but you don't know how to start then hopefully i can inspire you to start doing it. I will start this series with some flashbacks and explanations on the things that we did in the past to fill in the gaps. And then I will show you where we are right now with the software and what we're going to do. Also, I will be posting more content about e-commerce on my Twitter and YouTube because I receive so many DMs of you guys that find it valuable. So make sure to follow me, hit the subscribe if you don't want to miss it out. And in the next video, I will explain to you our plan. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.